Hello, so just a very quick video today on temperature towers and also overhang towers. Let's get started. So first thing to do is to go and find a temperature tower. I found this one on Principles by Creative Crush. There's several types. There's the PETG ones and also PLA and also different temperature ranges. So pick the one for the filament that you want to use and just go ahead, download it and then we're going to open up Bamboo Studio and we're going to add the object into the plate. Now it will come up with this error. This is just basically telling you that there is a G-code change. Just go ahead and click OK because obviously we do want it to change temperature as it's going up. So as you can see, there's lots of overhangs at different degrees. I think it's 30 and 45. There's also two little cones and some gaps and some bridges. Now, all these things are tested with the retraction tower. So go ahead and slice it. And then what we need to do is send it off to print as per normal. And just like that, by the power of YouTube, the temp tower is now green. So as you can see, there's lots of stringing up at 290, and it gets better and better as it gets down to 250. But I still wasn't happy with this, so I printed another one at 260 down to 220. This is with the PETG. And it's not very visible on the camera, but there's some ever so slight stringing between the 260 and the 245s. The best overall is the 255, so I'll change this in the settings. So again, this is actually the PLA version, and you can see very, very minimal amount of difference on the camera, but there is some, and the best, in fact, was 220. Now, that just shows also that Bamboo will pretty much print at any temperature regardless anyway. Now, to change these settings very simply, just go to the little box to the right of the where the filament is. Then you want to change the first layer and the other layers to the value you want. Click the save, and then exit, and that's it. It's done. Now overhang towers are just useful so you can understand where you need support and what have you. Now this one didn't work so I reprinted it with a brim and you can actually see from the back edge where it sort of needs support. Now this is around 50 degrees so this is just a good idea for you knowing where this filament needs supports. As normal if you've liked it please give it a like and think about subscribing. Thank you.